So talking a little bit about Cezanne, she's one of my secondary favorite characters right next to Summer. She's very a very versatile uh, character, one of the versatile champions. She has the ability to use a shotgun, she's got an assault rifle, as well as a combat knife. She's very versatile in how you play, and she can basically fit any scenario, whether you're picking someone off from range, whether it's like an Earl or maybe a Captain Mendoza, and she's able to utilize her shotgun. She can use it for burst damage. She can sneak up behind somebody um, with her electro knife and has a lot of high risk, high reward gameplay with her shotgun into a electro knife so you sneak up behind somebody where as she levels up she gain, she gains that access to uh to a stealth mechanic as you can see right here her level two is called fully engaged it's just swapping weapons grants short-term passive abilities so when she swaps over to her electro knife it'll cloak her for a short period of time her shotgun will give her access to a little bit of boost of speed and her inertia gun grants 150 shield so she starts off with relatively low hp and so once you gain to level two it kind of gives you a little bit of um, added defensive between the extra mobility, the ability to cloak, and of course the extra shield. When she reaches level 3, you have the ability to choose between Capacitator Overflow, which gives her a little bit of extra damage uh, for the next 10 seconds, gives her, seconds, gives her, gives her 6 percent damage boost whenever you swap for 10 seconds, and that's pretty long. I would say it's probably too strong because the buff would literally carry over by the time you swap over to your next weapon, especially if you're going from like your shotgun to your electro life to your electro knife into your assault rifle um, or the inertia gun, like the, the buff literally carries over and just basically refreshes. So like once you hit level three, you basically have this the whole time during combat, probably a little too strong, probably would need to be cut down to a little bit more risk reward so that when you swap to your next weapon, you, you quickly take advantage of the burst instead of just having this um, upgrade of, of damage for basically the whole time that you're in combat. It seems to be a little bit too strong, but again, just my opinion, as it feeds into the most important thing that when it comes to PvP games is built is managing risk versus reward. Now, one of Sazan's uh, passives, which I'm not sure if it's working correctly, it's called, you can see right there, right? Capacitator. Capacitator overflow. Swapping weapons grants 6% damage boost for 10%. seconds. In my opinion, even if it were not working this way, it would be overperforming. Because it's quite a, it, it seems to flow through easily, like nonstop from weapon to weapon to weapon. But the way that it currently works, it's just cute kill one of these, right? So I'm at level six, I'm at I'm at twelve percent, I swap, I'm at eighteen, right? And then I immediately swap over again, and then now you just you can see the buff stacks, right? So the buff seems to not be working correctly, and then I swap again and then boom, right now I'm at thirty percent. Back to eight back down eighteen. So the stacking the the buff seems to stack six percent additional damage every time you swap. So you can coordinate it where you can, depending upon which weapon you're starting on, where you can go from like your shotgun because it has the least amount of bullets, immediately swap over to your your throwing knife. And so you'll start from, you, or you can start from Q, which has the longest duration, swap over to your hunting knife that gives you an additional 6%, and then swap over to your shotgun. And by the time you swap over to your shotgun and then go right back over to your inertia rifle, your inertia rifle will deal an, uh, your, uh, will deal an additional 30% more damage because every time you swap, the buff stacks. I'm not sure if it's intended to work that way, and it's, and it's there for... 10 seconds right so i can swap it over and now i have 30 percent more damage and it'll drop back up it'll drop down because the first buff is uh wearing off and then the second buff wears off so if you're for example utilizing the electro knife you really have to pay attention uh trying to aim for the person's head to maximize the amount of damage as you only have one shot to get it to land and then you quickly have to swap over to another weapon so that's why I would think uh, perhaps maybe having it, having it scale. So, for example, maybe instead of having it a flat 6% whenever you swap to whatever weapon, maybe making it 10% for the Electro Knife because you only got one opportunity to use it, maybe 6% 
for the shotgun since you can have up to four shots and then maybe reducing that all the way back down to like three percent or two percent when you swap over to your um to the inertia gun the other option that you have is full blast shotgun so you without the uh the perk from level from your level five you're typically going to have three shots within your shotgun and each shot can knock an opponent back so that's your other option have to take or you can utilize cut and run which basically makes your left shift your dash deal a little bit of upfront damage of 60 and of course puts a dot on your opponent for 60 dot damage at level four you gain access to uh, go for, go the extra mile which just increases the number of dashes from one to two allowing you to be a little bit more mobile on the battlefield between her dashes um, the extra movement speed you get when you switch over to your shotgun and then the the invisibility cloak when you switch over to your electro knife she can become a very difficult target uh, to catch on the battlefield and she's balanced out by having a relatively low hp pool which works out to be just fine there's there's got to be a balance between risk and reward and then of course for her level five you have the the option to choose between upping the voltage which is gained 33 percent extra damage per weapon increases electro knife damage by 33 percent or you can use first shot with the inertia gun disrupts uh target abilities for half a second and i would say the disruptor charge probably a little underwhelming uh because it's only the first shot so there is a little bit of risk award um, but it's got a pretty long cooldown of a minimum of six seconds or so because you'd have to go from your inertia gun swap over to like the shotgun and then have the have enough time to swap back over to your inertia gun to gain the extra shot of disruption maybe one second might be a little bit better half second not really that great and basically the dis the, the disruption means that the person can't use their abilities so not so not so great on someone who does like a lot of light attack damage for example um, or anybody's left mouse click i believe it would not be affected by but one of one of my more favorite characters between like i said summer is probably my, my favorite character to utilize and then my second best would be probably called <laughs> sazan the one woman army she's very very highly effective highly mobile uh, and she can utilize she can to make use of uh, her different weapons to tailor the situation that she that she finds herself in so i'm not sure if this was designed for to be strategic it would probably have been a bit better uh, because she does a, she deals quite a bit of damage and unfortunately we don't have damage numbers right it's not like i can go over here and i can kind of guess how much my i can guess how much the uh each shot deals right you kind of just have, kind of have to have to guesstimate by the extra damage that you deal just kind of like of looking energy. at the bar Half die. but that's really empty. not a good way to be able to test one to see if the buff is working two to see if the person's damage is comparable to other character damage so you really need damage numbers to be able to sit here and test and say okay a body shot deals you know 25 damage but then a headshot will deal 50 damage right so the difference between a headshot and a body shot as you can see if you look at the little pointers that come out when i shoot right they're white as you can see right there they're white and then whenever you land a headshot right, they turn red and it makes like a little bit of a of a sound on sound cue to let you know you hit made a headshot but it's very faint but the uh the the red flaring out is much more obvious to notice so that's just something that i just wanted to that i wanted to touch on the other thing i wanted to touch on is for those using the inert the um the electro knife the electro knife deals roughly i think the same amount of damage again because there are no damage numbers you just kind of have to guess between Booyah! a headshot which this that looks like empty. it missed even though he actually moved bring it on uh, but the other You're thing is getting. that it will deal uh dot damage i guess it puts kind of like a bleed on the character ha! all right you can see whenever I'm the person's hp bar is flashing like that that means the person had a bleed so you can see it did a little bit of damage but if you watch real close you'll see that the bar is slowly is slowly going down inertia gun know, online sets no it just the hp just stops right so that's basically how to use the inertia knife the uh electro knife so it's typically good again even if the person has that blinking going on right Die. their hp they have basically have a Got dot a on them you can still kill them 
outright by just hitting them. So you'll kind of like burst through the additional HP that is going down over time. Um, You're not getting away. Which seems kind of weird because it is, it feels more like a high risk, high reward sort of gameplay. And Nothing if you literally like deal Booyah! the exact same amount of damage of energy. with your knife do, dealing a body shot as you do a headshot, and that seems kind of underwhelming because then you might as well go for a body shot and since you only have you know just the one time to throw the knife it would stand to reason that the electro knife should deal more damage when you hit somebody with a headshot when just like you do just like with the gun all right so I'm just trying to check it out right here and it really doesn't seem like it deals that this much more empty. damage I don't know, maybe the bleed goes faster. It's hard, like, again, without having damage numbers and without having your skills, say, your electro knife deals, you know, X amount of damage up front and then deals X amount of damage over time, there's really no way to tell except just basically looking at the dummies and kind of giving a little bit of a guesstimate. This is something that I hope that they will address in the near future.